Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC again, in an outfit that probably looks familiar because I just unboxed this beautiful Alliance Designs Mini Slim Pickens, courtesy of Bill, the man himself from Alliance Designs. And this is from a man named Max, who is a police officer and just so happened to list a knife on Blade Forums, and we bought this on the live stream on Tuesday or Sunday. Bought this on, on Sunday, this past Sunday. Oh boy, I am not ready for this one. So like I said, this comes to us uh, from a gentleman named Max, who watches the channel. Uh, so awesome. Max, if you watch this, what's up, dude? How you doing? Thank you so much for the hookup on this. Uh, yeah, we're just going to open this because I am antsy as a damn... Dude, I'm just antsy. I'm always antsy. But I, I was born antsy, baby. Oh, boy. I This is one... This is like the one that got away when I was a Blade show for me. This was like... Jesus, that's insane. Don't need that anymore. This is the one that got away. And I... Oh, <laughs> and if we're talking about unboxing experiences, this might, might very well be the most insane unboxing experience in this channel's history. I, dude. First off, this is the box. This is a solid aluminum. Solid is the box titanium. This weighs. <laughs> Stop. Good. Yes. Let's just see how much the box weighs. Twelve ounces. Damn near a pound. Yeah, this is heavy. <laughs> this is heavy. Wow, okay. That's nuts. Um, I don't... I need a screwdriver to open it. It's... <laughs> I can't believe this is real. I, I've seen the pictures. By the way, for those of you wondering, this is a Cybertrix. And if you don't know what that is... Oh, buckle up, dude. Buckle up. But this is the closest thing to a screwdriver I just have laying around is this piece of shit. So, um... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You literally have to unbolt the lid. You talk about an experience, dude. Oh my god. What are these carpenter screws? This is the most awkward screwdriver known to man. You garbage. Go away. Oh, oh my god, dude. I gotta tell you, this is two insane unboxing experiences back to back. Alliance Designs had this like nice little, nice little fancy drawer that came out and it said "Welcome to the Alliance" on the inside. Right? This is on another planet. This is ridiculous. I don't want to lose my screws. How do I open? I <laughs> do I have to unbolt it from both sides? <laughs> Okay, gotta get the... It's <laughs> ridiculous. Gotta get the Buckwild screwdriver out again. This is unreal. Max, I greatly appreciate you kind of packaging it up back where it was. This is really awesome. You know how much I love the unboxing experience. This is something else, man. Oh. Oh my god. Screw three... So that's four screws, and we haven't even seen the knife yet. All right, now can we open this? Oh, we can. Oh. My God. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't, I don't even have words. Look at this. That is a... Thing of beauty. Holy shnikes, dude. Let's peel it out of its little cocoon. 
I can't even... I can't even deal right now, dude. This... <laughs> this is the cyber tricks. Uh, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. It is designed to look like the cyber truck, if that's not immediately apparent, right? But it is unreal. I believe these are made by Reich knives out of China. Reich is doing some of the most insane work. They have for a long time, but especially lately. Let's go ahead and put this down. Sorry, microphone. Let's put this back together. This, I can't get over that this is, it, it's just, that's nonsense. So this is the Cyber Tricks, man. I got to play with it uh, briefly at Blade Show, but, you know, 400 bucks. It's a lot of cheddar. Um, I didn't have it on me. We have these wild thumb things, thumb discs. I don't know what to call them. Uh, this beautiful backspacer with the little logo. Um, it is made by uh, Forever Steel. FSEDC is the name of the company. If you want to look them up, fsedc.com. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Uh, kind of a giant pocket clip on this uh, milled titanium. Everything's titanium. But we have polished titanium, like satin finished, on the chamfers here. And then on the flats, it's it's stonewashed. Flat. Like flat gunmetal gray. Same with the clip. Wow. Beautiful. A little bit of jimping there on the ass end. On the uh, sh reverse side, on the clip side of the blade, it says Cybertrix M390. Oh, God. FS06B number 199. So it is numbered. It's pretty cool. Let's open it, dude, because this blade is... Oh, boy. <laughs> Look at just... Is there a cleaner knife in profile on the market today. I don't know. I don't know. It is an inset lock or a liner lock, which is great for lefties, and that keeps the exterior just spotless. Spotless. This wild uh, M390 compound ground, I don't know what to call this blade shape. Ta Tonto? Maybe? Kind of? But it's like wild now i believe there's two different variants one where the long flat is at the end of the blade and one where it's long flat short just like a normal tonto this is like the wild reversed not a reverse tonto i don't know what to call it a sheep's toe oh my god and the action is spectacular <gasps> detent cash money reverse flicks thumb flick Unreal. Those uh, thumb disc deals, those work so well, man. Those work so insanely well. Oh my god. Wow. I... Why did I wait so long? I'm so glad, I am so happy we, we just like bought this on a whim on that live stream, man. Holy crap. Ergos choked back. Um, some sh... No, you know... You, the clip sits so low, that might be an issue for day-to-day -day use. Look how low that clip profile is. Like, there's no space back here at all. But we'll see. We'll play around with it. Um, it Some kind of sharp edges. Nothing too violently uncomfortable. There is no jimping or texturing anywhere on this. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is an art piece more than it is a knife. Uh, but really nice. You can't really choke up at all. Right here. You can nestle in right there. Kind of pinch it. Um, but choked all the way back. Yeah, that feels fine. Thumb on the blade feels nice. Nice and soft. Pinch grip. Oh, yeah. All day. All day long. Pinch grip it. Ergos are great. I just... It is just such a beautiful looking thing. I, I can't... I can't. It is stunning, dude. Uh, Reich, who I believe is the OEM on this, just... Nailed it. I can't believe how smooth that is. Oh my god. That is obscene. Whew. Nice. Decently tall flat grind. Looks really thin. 
and slicey behind the edge and it feels really thin and slicey so we ought to cut something with it so hold that thought got the old andy dandy phone book paper here uh we're at printers and psychics Ooh, there's only one in the city apparently love life psychic so look her up well <laughs> yeah oh my god what yeah it's just as slicey as it looks. That's insanity. Boy. Boy. <laughs> Let me tell you now, boy. Holy shit. Wow. The Cybertrix, dude, is finally in the house. Oh, dude. I get, I get very um, uh, art form slim foot vibes from this knife. But it's so insane and so different that, if anything, it's an homage at best. Uh, but I think that's why I was drawn to this so much, is because it is so obscenely clean in profile. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful piece. Insane, dude. Insane. This is not the full review. This is just the unboxing first impressions. There will be a full review at some point in the near future, definitely on this knife. Uh, I will carry it. I will use it. I, 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 dude, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. It's here. It's real. What an unboxing experience. Thank you for being here for it. That is it for me. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now.